everybody welcome back this is just another otr guy saying what's up and tonight we are going to install boom cell phone booster for trucks this is the we boost drive reach otr that we are installing and i have already opened her and i started assembling it a little bit these poles came in two pieces right in here the uh, external antenna screws off at the top and it was bundled up with this cable and we have our this uh, internal antenna that's going to come with it which comes with thread locker and a couple extra washers got our toggle switch power supply that's going to go into the cigarette lighter we got some velcro in case we wanted to mount the internal uh internal antenna somewhere where we can remove it uh have our our power module right here and came with a uh, customer service and the in the manual and a thank you and i also bought the shark fin magnetic external antenna mount in case i couldn't get this mounted uh and it also comes with one of the the cb radio the cb antenna pole mounts and this it didn't have one of these on it so i went into loves and bought one uh i have i have the uh the cb radio antenna mount on my mirror right now but i have a kenworth t680 that does not have skinny little poles for that for that antenna mount to go around and tighten down with bolts i had bought new bolts that were longer to try to get around those big thick here big thick plastic uh and yeah mirrors so those big fat mirrors right there the mountain doesn't want to do it so what i may do is i may take this off it's just going on the passenger side not this side i may take that plate off right there that's at the base of the antenna and drill a hole and put it side by side with the antenna shut up cb radio i may do that or i may i do have it zip tied the the mount zip tied to the antenna antenna apologies i accidentally hit the stop button with my pinky finger so we may do that and also plan number three is to remove the passenger side cb antenna take that plate off the mirror that I was just showing you and disconnect the coax cable for the CB radio and put this on the C where the CB antenna once was. The only problem that arises from that is I'll have to switch over to a one antenna situation with my actual CB radio and when I do that right now the CB goes from the back of the CB radio to a T, a splitter, and goes to each side to each mirror. Which, if I leave one of them open-ended, I've been advised, because I'm not a CB master, I'm not a CB master, y'all, that it won't, it could cause issues with my CB setup since I'm missing half of my antenna power. So. That's option three. We're gonna try the zip tie method just to get the thing fucking working. And then after that happens, we are going to either investigate method two to drill a hole next to the CB antenna, and then, or method three, disconnect the CB antenna and use the, the mount on the mirror for it. So, I'll get back with you. Let's get a little bit more preparation done and we will keep on moving. All right, update. That looks like shit. And it ain't working. As soon as you put a little pressure on it, it's all over the fucking place. But it ain't gonna work. So, this is going away, right here. Went to get these out. Hang on, let me switch it around. Went to get these guys out little hex head hex head bolts and two of them sons of bitches snapped the fuck off I wanted to see if I could get it 
before really recording because I don't want to look like a goddamn jackass trying to do this shit. But we're going to get this plate off. i got to pry it up with a uh, flathead and then hopefully try to get the bottoms of those out and then either disconnect this or look into screwing in right there. Might be a little too close to the CB antenna though, so we'll see. Be back. We're trying it this way. Gotta go fix this up uh, after this weekend. And I'm just gonna buy a new plate for this and I gotta get those strip, I gotta drill those stripped uh, hex bolts out. But got a lot of sway and that's just the, the interior of this mold here has been like worn down. So it's got a little bit of give. But we're gonna carry on and keep seeing how it goes. Okadoke! Pardon my mess. So we ran the antenna. I'm gonna zip tie that down right there. Oh shit. Drop the shit out the truck. Cause I got too much stuff. Ran it through the crack in the door there. The cable here that I just squished in the door. Okay. Boom. I am probably gonna mount it right here. And then it's gonna get plugged in right yonder. And then we're gonna do the interior antenna. Drill some howls for the base plate connector. Boom. We're gonna put some washers and nuts on it. All right, mount is mounted. Looks crooked. No, yeah, looks all right. Got too much shit in this truck. <laughs> okay, so we got that on. Now we have our WeBoost power module. That's where the light is. Got our outside antenna, power supply, and inside antenna. So I'm gonna hook it on. There we go. It's on. It does look crooked, but it's just the way the shit's angled. Huh. I've got my outside antenna cable, my adapter that I was talking about earlier. I'm gonna screw it on. Boom shakalaka. I'll clean up the wiring, but. Going to put that just like that. Let's get the other antennas. Interior antenna. The instructions do say, see it says mounting side. So we'll put some double-sided tape or some uh, Velcro on that. I haven't quite decided where I'm gonna put it yet. Then we've got our plug for the other side. Where that goes like that so now that's what the the instruction manual says to mount this it says some of it to put it on the side of one of the seats uh, it says 18 to 36 inches from your mobile device or whatever you're using the mobile data or internet with and we have our power cable I sure hope this fucking works this was a lot of money and a lot of, not a lot of work, but a lot of work to get this fucker going. Power. Boom. Power. Let's not fuck up this whole thing. Boom. Try to keep it cleaner. Plugged in. So as far as that goes, it's ready to turn on and use. I don't want to do it yet. I guess I will. I could put my antenna right there. Like I said, I got too much shit and I like Tapo Chico. Here's the moment. The ooh ah. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. 
All right. All right. Currently, I have three bars. Look at that shit. Just shot up the five. Oh, I pray that's good and that works. All right. Well. Hang on. I will probably mount this, the interior antenna, somewhere on my drawers or somewhere halfway between my phone mount, which is right behind that curtain uh, for while I'm daily driving. And I mainly, not mainly, a lot of it was to improve my hotspot connection for Call of Duty. So. I will let you know how it goes. Put in the comment section if you want to get an update on how well it works or not. Let's see. Yep, still five bars. Went up two bars once I turned that bitch on. Anyway, I hope you guys have a good one. Hopefully I recommend this. And if you do, maybe you could do some kind of redneck engineered thing like that. Have a good day. Drive safe. Make sure you subscribe if you like it.